Among the billionaires and multi-billionaires, Len Blavatnik stands out as a unique individual. As a result of his enormous wealth, extensive network, and ambitious business plans, he appears to be everywhere these days. It seems like the 64-year-old is always in the public eye, whether it's for a major purchase, a substantial gift, or a black tie event. He is a British-American businessman, investor, and philanthropist who's of mixed British and American ancestry. When the Sunday Times Rich List was published in 2021, it revealed that a record 171 billionaires in the United Kingdom had their net worth increased by more than a fifth as a result of the epidemic's financial toll. However, Sir Leonard Blavatnik, 64, has risen to the top of the rich list for the second time, with a fortune of £23 billion, following a £7.2 billion increase in his net worth. So, who is Sir Len Blavatnik? In today's video, we take a look at Sir Len Blavatnik, from where he got his fortune to how exactly he became the richest man in the UK. Having been born to intelligent parents and attending university in Moscow, Blavatnik moved to the United States in 1978. The Columbia University School of Journalism granted him a master's degree in computer technology in 1981, and the Harvard Business School of Management awarded him an MBA in 1989. He later on launched Access Industries in 1986 and has been in business ever since. Access invests in a variety of industries, including media and telecommunications, natural resources and chemicals, venture capital and technology, real estate, entertainment, and biotechnology, among others. Access also has a presence in a number of other countries. The group's interests have a combined market value of more than $20 billion. And as a result of his financial success, Blavatnik established and funds the Blavatnik Family Foundation, which is fully self-funded. It's made more than $900 million in grants to more than 250 organizations around the world to advance research, higher education, good governance including human rights, the arts, and other humanitarian causes. The foundation has also made grants to support Jewish and other humanitarian causes. One of his most notable humanitarian projects is the Blavatnik Awards for Young Scientists, which was established in 2007 in conjunction with the New York Academy of Sciences. It's one of his most significant humanitarian endeavors. The awardees were selected by a distinguished panel comprising Nobel laureates and other distinguished scientists. Prizes awarded by the foundation have been awarded to more than 350 scientists to this day. Among the grants awarded by the Blavatnik Foundation are grants to Harvard Medical School, Harvard Business School, and Oxford University, which will support the development of next-generation precision treatments, as well as the establishment of the Blavatnik Fellowship in Life Science Entrepreneurship. It has been estimated that over $150 million has been donated to theaters, museums, and performing arts facilities, including Carnegie Hall, New York, and the Tate Modern Museum, London. He's also the owner of the Odessa 2 yacht. The Odessa 2 yacht can accommodate a total of 12 guests in seven cabins, who may be served by a crew of up to 19 individuals. The interior of the Odessa 2 yacht was designed by H2 Yacht Design, a design company started in 1994 by Johnny Horsfield and based in London. He's worked in the industry for more than 30 years and has worked on more than 100 boats, making him a well-known figure in the community. There are several amenities on board Odessa 2 for passengers to make use of. These include a beauty salon, spa, sauna area, beach club, full gym with exercise equipment, and a deck jacuzzi for guests to relax in while on board. There's also Wi-Fi and an air conditioner that's completely operating in her entourage. She also has six cabins, which comprise a master, two doubles, two twins, a single, a convertible, accommodating up to 12 passengers. She can also accommodate up to 19 members of her crew, all of whom are highly skilled in their respective fields. He also possesses a vast amount of real estate assets. His most well-known asset is a piece of land in London's Kensington Palace Gardens, which is estimated at $250 million and is his most valuable asset. The mansion's facilities include an underground parking garage with a lift for his autos, as well as a heated indoor-slash-outdoor pool. When he bought his home in 2004, he spent an estimated $50 million on it. However, its monetary worth has more than tripled. 
He also owns a residence in New York City, a house he obtained for a sum of $50 million. He also has a 14-room apartment at 998 Fifth Avenue in New York City, which he shares with his wife. In addition, he has a home in Greenwich, Connecticut, which is close to New York City. He also owns a number of buildings in France, including the Grand Hotel du Cap Ferrat and the Hotel du Vendôme, both of which are located near Paris. And that's not all. He's also the owner of a private jet, a Boeing 767 with the registration N673BF. It's one of his largest planes. The letter BF on the 767 is a nod to the Blavatnik family, and the jet's worth more than $150 million. Aside from that, he has a Boeing 737 with the registration number N737LE, which he uses for commercial flights. It's currently valued at $110 million. Additionally, he owns a Gulfstream G550 with the registration N671LE, which is also worth $50 million. A total cabin volume of 47.26 cubic meters is achieved by optimizing the utilization of available space in the G550. Depending on the configuration, the G550 may seat up to 19 passengers and sleep up to 8 people at the same time. One of the most distinguishing features of all Gulfstreams is the oval-shaped windows that line the sides of the aircraft. The Gulfstream G550 is outfitted with 14 Gulfstream signature oval windows that run the length of the cabin, creating a sense of spaciousness and enhancing well-being through an abundance of natural light. Despite the fact that it's been in operation for more than a decade, this private jet is equipped with all of the most up-to-date comforts. One of its features is a smartphone app that allows passengers to control the temperature of the cabin, open and close the window blinds, as well as listen to the in-flight entertainment system. While customizing an airplane, there are as many different possibilities for cabin layouts to choose from as there are different types of people who ride in them. Depending on the galley layout, it's possible to add a crew compartment and up to four residential quarters. As basic features, the G550 is equipped with a wireless network, satellite communication, an Iridium phone, and a printer. The cabin of the G550 is never more than 6,000 feet above sea level, which is lower than the cabins of most commercial airplanes and business jets. This means that whatever you're doing, you will be operating at peak efficiency as a result of the high cabin altitude, low cabin noise levels, and 100% fresh cabin air provided by the aircraft. In addition, these properties will aid in the alleviation of the symptoms of jet lag, allowing you to arrive at your destination feeling refreshed and vitalized. Last but not least, he owns a G650 with the license plate number N761LE, which he uses for business purposes. Flight attendants describe the Gulfstream G650's cabin as the peak of air travel elegance. The numerous double club and couch style seats on this vessel may accommodate anywhere from 12 to 18 people depending on the configuration. Overall, this cabin has 2,513 cubic feet of space, which includes a conference area with four seats that's completely separate from the rest of the cabin. Passengers who want to get a good night's sleep on an overnight voyage can take advantage of seats that can be converted into double beds. All of the amenities you could possibly want are included as standard equipment on the Gulfstream G650, ensuring that your long-distance journey is as pleasant as possible. This includes a beautiful set of cutlery and crystal glasses for serving drinks in the gallery during the evening. And having known all this, we can only describe Sir Lem Blavatnik as a man of style. And that's all for today's video, guys. What do you think about the richest man in the UK? Do you think that he's the most generous giver of all billionaires in the world? Comment below. Let's engage. Also, please leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Lastly, click on one of these videos on the screen to watch another amazing, luxurious video. Goodbye. See ya on the other side.